Have you ever wondered which insects on our planet pose the greatest threat to humans? Insects, often overlooked and underappreciated, play a crucial role in our ecosystem. They pollinate plants, decompose organic material, and form a significant part of the food chain. But not all insects are benign. Some, in fact, are extraordinarily dangerous and can pose a deadly threat to humans. In this captivating exploration, we're going to dive into the world of the five most lethal insects. These tiny creatures, some no larger than a penny, possess the power to bring even the strongest of us to our knees. From venomous stings to disease-ridden bites, these insects are not to be underestimated. So buckle up as we travel across continents, from the lush rainforests of South America to the sun-scorched deserts of Africa. Prepare to embark on a journey that will take you around the globe as we explore the world's deadliest insects. Our first stop takes us to various regions around the globe where we encounter the Anopheles mosquito. This tiny yet terrifying creature is primarily found in tropical and subtropical regions, including large parts of Africa, Central and South America, parts of the Middle East, the Indian subcontinent, and Southeast Asia. But don't be fooled by its small size and seemingly harmless appearance. The Anopheles mosquito is far from being a benign creature. It's a silent, stealthy predator that operates mainly between dusk and dawn. What makes the Anopheles mosquito particularly dangerous is its role as the primary vector of malaria. This means that it is the main carrier of the malaria parasite, transmitting it to humans through its bite. Now let's talk about malaria. It's a life-threatening disease that's caused by parasites that are transmitted to people through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Once bitten, the parasites multiply in the host's liver before infecting and destroying red blood cells. Every year, malaria affects hundreds of millions of people worldwide and tragically results in hundreds of thousands of deaths. The majority of these deaths occur among children living in Africa, where a child dies from malaria every two minutes. While the Anopheles mosquito is the primary vector of malaria, it's not entirely invincible. It has natural predators like spiders, dragonflies, and some species of birds and fish. And of course, humans are also trying to fight back with mosquito nets, insecticides, and malaria vaccines. However, the battle is far from over. Malaria is still a major global health issue, and the Anopheles mosquito continues to play a significant role in its spread. So the next time you think about dangerous creatures, remember to consider the small and stealthy Anopheles mosquito. Despite its small size, the Anopheles mosquito proves that danger can come in tiny packages. Next, we journey to South America, where the Africanized bee, also known as the killer bee, makes its home. The Africanized bee is a hybrid of the Western honeybee species, originally produced by crossbreeding with the African honeybee in Brazil in the mid-20th century. This bee is notoriously aggressive. While your typical honeybee might defend its hive with a squadron of about 50 bees, the Africanized bee, not to be outdone, can send out a swarm of up to a thousand soldiers. Imagine a cloud of buzzing fury descending upon you. It's not a pleasant thought, is it? The Africanized bee doesn't just get its killer moniker from its aggressive nature, though. It's also due to the number of fatalities it causes each year. While exact figures are hard to pin down due to reporting inconsistencies, estimates suggest that up to a dozen people lose their lives to these bees each year in the United States alone. And let's not forget about the countless animals that also fall victim to these swarming assailants. Now you might be wondering, what's on the menu for the Africanized bee? Well, like other honeybees, they feed on nectar and pollen from flowering plants. They're vital pollinators, playing a crucial role in our ecosystems. But what about their predators? Who dares to take on these ferocious insects? In the insect world, it's primarily other types of bees and wasps. In the animal kingdom, Birds, spiders, and even bears are known to risk the wrath of the swarm for a taste of their honey. But perhaps the most surprising predator of the Africanized bee is the humble honey badger, a creature renowned for its tenacity and fearlessness. The Africanized bee, a small creature with a big attitude, certainly earns its place on our list. It's a perfect reminder of how something so small can have such a significant impact. And while we should respect its power and give it a wide berth, Let's also appreciate its crucial role in our world's ecosystems. Our next destinations are Africa and Asia, home to the Setsi fly and the Asian giant hornet respectively. Let's start with the Setsi fly. This unassuming insect is the sole carrier of a disease known as African sleeping sickness. This sickness is no laughing matter. It's a serious condition that can lead to severe neurological disorders and even death if left untreated. 
Every year, thousands of people in sub-Saharan Africa fall victim to this disease, transmitted through the bite of the setsi fly. As for its diet, this fly feeds on the blood of vertebrate animals and occasionally humans, but don't think it's all smooth sailing for the setsi, they have their own predators. Birds, spiders and even other insects keep the setsi fly population in check. Now let's take a flight across the Indian Ocean to Asia, where we'll meet the Asian giant hornet. This creature, the world's largest hornet, is a force to be reckoned with. It has a venom potent enough to dissolve human tissue, and its sting can cause kidney failure. Each year, the Asian giant hornet is responsible for roughly 50 deaths in Japan alone. It's not only humans that need to be wary of this hornet. They are known to decimate entire colonies of honeybees, their preferred prey, in just a few hours. However, the Asian giant hornet isn't without enemies. Various bird species and the Japanese honeybee have developed unique strategies to defend against these deadly predators, so there we have it. The setsi fly and the Asian giant hornet, two insects that, despite their size, pose a significant threat to humans and other creatures alike. Their roles in the ecosystem are complex and their impacts on human populations are profound. As we've seen, these insects are not just part of the scenery, they're active participants in the drama of life. Both the setse fly and the Asian giant hornet pack a punch, making them worthy of our attention. Finally, we venture into the rainforests of Central and South America, where the bullet ant resides. Known by its Latin name, Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant is infamous for its powerful and painful sting. This sting, according to those unlucky enough to have experienced it, feels akin to being shot, hence the insect's fearsome moniker. The Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a scale measuring the pain caused by different insect stings, ranks the bullet ant's sting as the most painful, a staggering 4 out of 4. Despite the bullet ant's notorious sting, it's not typically fatal to humans. However, the excruciating pain can last for up to 24 hours. It's a testament to the ant's aggressive defense mechanism designed to deter predators and protect their colonies. Speaking of colonies, bullet ant colonies are relatively small, usually hosting between a few hundred to a thousand ants. These ants are predatory, and their diet primarily consists of small arthropods. They use their powerful stingers not only for defense but also to paralyze their prey before carrying it back to their nest. But even the bullet ant isn't without predators. Creatures like the tamandua, a type of anteater found in Central and South America, have evolved to withstand the bullet ant's sting and feast on these painful pests. Additionally, various species of parasitic flies and fungi also pose a threat to bullet ant colonies. The bullet ant's habitat, the tropical rainforests, is a world filled with danger and competition. Yet this inch-long ant has evolved to become one of the most formidable insects in its environment. This is all thanks to its sting, which not only helps it secure food, but also deters potential threats. So while the bullet ant might not have the same lethal reputation as some of the other insects we've discussed, it still commands respect. After all, who would want to mess with an insect that can deliver a sting comparable to a bullet wound? The bullet ant, while not as deadly as some of our previous insects, still holds its own with a sting that's hard to forget. Our journey has taken us around the world, introducing us to some of the most dangerous insects that inhabit our planet. From the malaria-spreading Anopheles mosquito found in tropical and subtropical regions, to the lethal sting of the Africanized bee that stretches from South America to the southern United States, we've encountered the sleep-inducing setsi fly in sub-Saharan Africa and felt the terror of the Asian giant hornet, a relentless predator in East Asia. Lastly, we've braved the intense pain inflicted by the bullet ant in Central and South America. These insects, although dangerous to us, are fundamental parts of their respective ecosystems. They're predators and prey, controlling populations and serving as food sources for other species. The harm they cause to humans is often a result of our encroachment into their habitats. While these insects can be deadly, it's important to remember that they play a crucial role in our global ecosystem. Respect, not fear, should guide our interactions with these fascinating creatures.